Hey everyone, what's up? What's going on? It's Jay, and uh, today we're going back into Strange Horticulture, um, episode two. So with this, I just, uh, I was just really into this game. I've been thinking about it a lot, um, and I, I just wanted to jump back in for Variety Weekend here, or at least the start of it. Um, I also, on the last video, episode one, go check it out if you haven't, I actually did get copyright claimed on it, thanks to the, uh, the music in-game. I'm not entirely sure, um, how you're supposed to, like, account for that sort of thing, you know, uh, video game music and, you know, streaming and, and such. So what I've decided is, uh, we're just gonna listen to Minecraft today. You could probably hear that in the background already gonna try to get the volume adjusted correctly here but yeah um no more of strange horticulture music uh to be honest you know it doesn't super affect me like right now as a as a creator um but i just you know it's my first time having to be flexible with something like this so I figured you might as well just try all right so we're jumping back in um we're at the end of the day um, and I did want to double check. So we've pretty much got all the clues figured out, except for this. Well, this is a letter, but... You know, I, I'm assuming it leads to another flower. But I don't think there's anything we can really do with this will to explore, so we'll just end the day and start up with a fresh one tomorrow. Oh, we do get a new tarot card, though, so that's going to be sweet. Oh, I, forget, I always forget to click. She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband three miles to the east where the Everheart grows. At 15, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl drew inward as her father turned to drink. Rough. Day 5, Tuesday. Uh, so we, first thing in the morning, uh, let's just go explore. Let's go to the northwest of the abbey. I don't know what abbey they're talking about. Calder Abbey? Is that the only abbey on here? I think so. So she buried her, so she lived alone in the castle to the northwest. So she lives in Ergmont Castle. She buried her husband three miles to the east. Two, three. Where the Everheart grows. A dead tree, its bark cracked and blackened by fire, stands alone on the hillside. Off to one side, a patch of flowers grows in a low mound. New plant. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really into this game. I really like the feel of it, first of all. But then, you know, just, just kind of working with plants and using that as, like, puzzles is so cool. What have you done to me? Oh, okay. I see the woman in the jade mask everywhere. And that creature that stands over her shoulder, I almost feel like I can sense its desires. Yeah, I remember. It's, it is afraid of the sisterhood, that much is clear. It will lay waste to them. Oh. So much death. But it can be avoided with Arduino's protection. She's the one who just died, right? I do not know if I'm awake or asleep even now. I feel the darkness tearing at my mind. Yeah, so this is where we had the choice, and I decided to give her, instead of the shielding one, the one that allowed her to go further into the dream... Um, and I think I was right. Like, look how interesting this is. I'm not going to tell her that, you know, she's got to, she's got to figure this out. Well, we'll give her something to worry less about it. <laughs> worry less is an aptly named plant. Inhaling the smell of the flowers is said to help ease symptoms of anxiety. So again, we're just kind of working with the picture here. This one looks accurate. Maybe not really. It doesn't really have flowers or uh, berries like that. Did you hear that when I clicked on it? It's like a little heartbeat or something. Small yellow berries. This one... 
I feel like um, I should be getting something that says something about the smell. Is it possible we don't have this this flower? Like we should have it, right? Because what does this button do? It shows her bio. Um, we should have it because we can't tell her to leave, right? And this other one, the only one we have is for this. I love Minecraft music. I'm getting a little distracted. In the best way. Um, oops, don't turn it off. Just try and turn it down just a little bit. Only have one we have is this, and I don't think it relates to this one. Let's see. It has a sweet scent, like strawberry dipped in honey. Unlikely. They smell wonderful. Could be this one. We could be that white one. I really want one that talks more about like the smell. Let's try that one. Ah, nice. Cool. Hop heart. So again, no real reason to explore right now. We'll just keep moving. Hey Simone, this is a librarian. I met a strange man on the road to Sedberg not two days ago. Stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you. Don't ask me what. So I told him where to find you, but he looked stricken when I mentioned Undermere. He said he doesn't come near towns at all if he can help it. He was headed west. At least, I think he was. He said he was looking for the Winster Spring. I'll write this down for you. Anyway, that's my news. Did you manage to find that plant I wanted? Common trouse. I bet you I did. Pretty good at my job. Despite being described as common, the trouse can be, in fact, quite tricky to find. However, it is known to grow in abundance on the slopes of Red Pike. Nobody knows why. Um, its leaves... Sorry, I lost my place. Its leaves have been used for centuries as a balm against eye strain. Oh, poor Simone. You're reading too many books. Um, doesn't really have any kind of descriptions on this. We just literally have leaves. Let's move this one over here. Just literally have leaves and unpleasant scent. This grew on the slopes of Red Pike. If I could only remember what we found in Red Pike, then this would be a, a really easy find. This, the leaves on this look a little too big. Could be this one. Let's try it. Nope. Could be this one. That's where we just were, right? That was the one at the grave. Could be this one? <laughs> oh no. Oh, we only have one more guess and then I don't know what happens. Um, let's move the ones I've already tried. So I tried these out. Could be this one. Well, let's, let's just try it. I mean, I guess we'll find out what happens. Oh. A shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, this is not good. We need to find the pieces that match up. So we got two lines here. Right there. Oh, okay. Those all just fit. That's nice. This is actually like such a cool punishment. That's the right word. There we go. So then it moves to one line. 
Not that one. So, I gave her the wrong plant, and then I, like, <laughs> just shut down and was like, hold on, I gotta fix my mind puzzle real quick. I love it. Okay. So cool. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. Day five. So same day, right? Did we lose that customer? No, she's right here again. Okay, so we just kind of traveled back in time. Are you? Nope. So no, it's not any of those. Let's try this one. If I remember correctly, my book entry for the plant should tell me where to find it. Yeah. <laughs> I know where it is. Can I just go get it again? Oh, I never had it to begin with. I thought I went there, though. I guess if I would have looked, like, just a little bit closer... At my note. Hold on, let me just put this here. Hold on a second, don't take it yet. So the one from the uncle. I think it's the uncle. Great Gable. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. The Great Gable. Okay, so I didn't go to Red Pike. I went to the Great Gable. That's That's on me. My bad, guys. Man wanted to meet you headed west from Sedberg, possibly near the source of the river Winst Winster. Sidberg? Sidberg. Right there. Possibly near the source of... River. Winster, right there. Okay. So if I went... Whoa, that is... Okay. The hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the spring. The cooled remains of, the fi of a fire ringed by stones is the only immediate sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there's no reply. The hermit's not here. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discover some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. Down two over three. Okay. Um, down two over three. So, like... Come on, don't do that. So if I'm here, one, two, one, two, three. Then he's over here, northeast of Whitbarrow. Oh, and then we're gonna, okay, we'll just go again. Sweet. Northeast of Whitbarrow. The camp at the Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. Oh yes, ho ho ho. 
the man says. You must take this. Take it, take it. At his insistence, I receive the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope delicately on top. Oh, it's no use to me anymore. Oh, no use. Don't forget the red. The red, the red, the red. Oh, Ebony. Ebony. I am quite sure that he's mad. Oh, we got a thing. Look at the thing. It's so cool. Um, and then we also got a letter. Ooh, with instructions. It is said that the red ebony plant... Plants? Plante? Has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. I have perfected a device designed to extract from the plant in concert with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magic otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Let me, um... Ooh, yeah, I just need to turn down this. Minecraft, just a little bit more. Something like that. This is just a loud song, I think. Um, okay. So. We have to eat the red abony plant, I think. And then we can use this thing. To see magic. The cat's magic, right? Oh, look at that. Can't really do anything with it and when it's in that state. Uh, okay, cool. Let's throw some stuff in the archive. I'm going to put this in my letters. Or clues? Where does it go? Letters. Uh, this I'm going to put away too. Just kind of get organized on the desk. Also, since we're about to hit the wheel to explore again, I have a note here that I forgot about. Oh my gosh, I, sh I should have read it a little while ago. It literally says, Common Trouse Slopes of Red Pike. Uh, because I had taken a screenshot of it last episode. I was like, don't forget. And then I forgot. And I had to restart my computer, so I was like, oh, I'll just write it down real quick. Uh, so I don't forget. And then, guess what? I forgot again. So, don't need that note anymore. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, who's next? Conrad? I am not long for this world, and I have decided that I want to be buried in a grave decorated with the rare and beautiful Kabalia. Kabalia? Kabalia? Like a drear huntsman with the dranthium covered tombs. Dude, you are a lot of words. Um, can't argue with a guy's death wish, though. Kabalia. A rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Those who can afford it place wreaths from made from it at the graves of their loved ones. Cabalia flowers almost always contain six petals. Found in a seven petal finding a seven petaled flower is considered to bring good fortune. Expensive? Dude, these people don't pay me anything. So we need to find a flower. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those have also more numbers, so it's probably this one. Yeah. Nice. Eye bright. Okay, I'm gonna just keep moving these on over. Uh, let's see. I was gonna look up, oh yeah, uh, don't forget. Let's look up red abony to see if it's like a, an actual flower that I have. It's not, okay. Oh, your reputation is growing, horticulturist. Horticulturist? I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are difficult to acquire. My head feels like it's being torn in two lately. I'm looking for some hop heart. Uh, okay. Don't tell me anything about yourself. Inhaling smoke from burning the dried leaves of this plant can provide pain relief. Firm leaves grow up to the stems, leading to blue flowers. Firm leaves up to blue flowers. We have a couple of those. The 
This one? Yeah, this one. Nice. Book entry on Copper Caledonian. All right, all right. Let's put all this back. Okay. Boop. Verona. Reuben Ward has called me on a unique expertise to aid in his investigation at the Swinside Stone Circle. Unique expertise, ha. Huh? He knows how to flatter an old woman when he wants something. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a good long thought, actually, but my curiosity has got the better of me. He must be desperate if he's coming to me, and I'll bet they've found something juicy down there. Signs of ritual sacrifice, maybe. I'll, uh, I could do with some witch fig to take with me. Always comes in useful. A plant that is said to have many uses, including easing the symptoms of infection, soaking up moisture, and detecting the presence of certain compounds. It is also well liked by butterflies. It has similar leaves to the fever kiss plant, which it is often confused with. Um, okay. So, we're probably looking for, um, a fruit. Red berries provide an energy boost. The leaves are pale in color. So, it's probably these, right? So, um, one of these three, I think, which are the only berries I have, so... Kind of a hard choice. Look at this a little closer. Um, these are probably this one. That's what I'm getting from the picture there. So, I'm thinking this one, because it's confused. Let's try. Nope. Oh boy. Okay. Um, then it's got to be this one. No. How is that? Two messes on the same day? Oh, I'm really screwing up. Shiver travels down my spine. My mind is broken. Let's see. What am I doing here? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm just follow finding the key that fits. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Am I looking at it upside down? Might be looking at it upside down, in which case this one is probably it. Yes. Okay, and we got a little step ladder thingy going on. This one? Oh, I'm looking at it backwards again. This one. I feel revived. My mind is whole again. Okay. Um. Well, sheesh. I am a little embarrassed. What you got for me, Verona? I haven't seen you yet today. That's crazy. This is the first time we've, we've talked to each other. It's this. This is what you want. Oh. Oh, wait. Was that the same one I already did? I uh, I wanted to be cool. I wasn't thinking. No way, it's this one, right? Didn't it say that it was a red fruit? Oh, I think it's... Oh my gosh. Oh man, I'm so dumb. Super on me. Oh jeez. Jacob's worth. Man, makes me sad. Anyway, we'll get over it. On to the next customer. Isid, I, Isidor. Oh, I don't like this guy. I'm going to get your name wrong on purpose. I never see anybody in your shop. <laughs> it's a daily surprise to me that you're still in business. Believe me, I wouldn't be he in here if I didn't have to be, especially with that damn cat still here. I need some bishop's parasol for a work-related matter. All right, well, I'm charging you double, which double of nothing is nothing. A mushroom found in dark, damp places feeding on any light that gets to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surroundings in darkness. Oh, I have one like that, don't I? 
Don't I have one that's like, I, I think it's this one. Kind of makes it look like things are dark behind it. Um, the gills on the underside of this mushroom seep a milky fluid that can be consumed as treatment for stomach pains. Yeah, that's this one. Nice. End of day today. Royal Gentia. The old man of Coniston looks across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current floating gent floating gently southwards to the fort. Not long after, the girl left home. Her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go, and he did not look for her. Hmm. Wins in a day. Wed Wednesday. Wed Wednesday. It's a weird word. All right, let's go here. Old man of Coniston. Coniston water. Imagining that's what it's talking about. The old man. Looks across the lake. His mind water wanders with the current, floating gently southward to the fork. Like, here? No. It said gently southward, so I thought maybe... That's fine. We'll pick up in a second. Eleanor Brammer. The insects make the salt marshes uninhabitable. It's a fine way to start a conversation. People stay away and not much grows there. But I know where to find an unusual plant. I've drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. Let's go. This seems easier. Let's go here. It's right here, right? Ooh, yeah, it's probably that right there. Okay, okay, we got it. So that little line indicates where it kind of separates into desert or whatever. Like right here. The air is thick with flying, biting insects. An unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I'm overwhelmed. If only I had some blue water to keep them at bay. Let me open my book of plants. Oops. Oh, I don't have a note on blue water. Maybe that's this one? Oh. Blue Winter is probably a nickname for Winter Boar. I do have that. Also known as Blue Aloe or Blue Winter after its cool blue-gray flowers. Winter Boar is, hard, is a hardy plant often found growing in extreme cold environments. The rubbery leaves make it effective insect repellent when applied to the skin. Nice. Dranthium. The blue winter saves my skin, but the swirling mass of insects is so thick in places that it's hard to see. At length, I come across what I came for and hurry away. Nice. Okay. Bethany, thanks for your help and discretion earlier. You forced me into discretion. The sisterhood is grateful, but the news that the Arda was poisoned with the gilded tendra, dendra has everyone worried. The temporary acting Arda is panicking. I, I probably shouldn't be telling you, but one of the sisters has gone missing, a runaway called Thea, that we took in a few years ago. We're trying to find her and sister Charlotte. We're trying to find her. And Sister Charlotte remembered that Jacobsworth plan is said to help locate people. Jacobsworth, didn't I just get either an entry or that flower? Probably just the entry, huh? People tend to be drawn to the unusual flowers of the Jacobsworth, but it's leaves that have the most interesting properties. It is said they will point the way toward any person you wish to locate and have been used successfully to find many a lost wanderer out on the fells. That is a fascinating plan. Could be this one. The leaves seem to have a mind of their own. That's it. So 
Solomon's Scepter. Okay, let's go out again. Alright, old man. The old man of Coniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southwards toward the fork. Toward the fork. Toward the fork. This is the fork, right? The heavens open up as I reach the fork. I take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water. I'm soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. Not empty handed. Two new plants today. Purple plants. I read about a wonderful sounding ornamental plant, but my book didn't say what it was called or where to find it. Then why are you here? You... What? Wonderful sounding ornamental plant? It has curled leaves and a dark blue flower. Curled leaves and a dark blue flower. How the heck am I supposed to find that for you, lady? Like, that could even be one of the ones we already have. Curled leaves? Let's go Lady of Summer real quick. Get away. Leaves curl. Delightfully with combined with an attractive flower and a hearty nature. Oh yeah, it's this one. You want Lady of Summer. Sorry. I <laughs> didn't mean to ring the bell again. Nice. Ennis. We've had our eye on you for some time now, creepy. Join us, creepier. Praise the Dendru. Okay, bro, you are... Coming off a little strong, I'll be honest with you. I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise would be very useful to us, and we have much to offer in return. Let us know we can count on you by leaving a single St. John's poppy flower outside the Sad Guild Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Praise the Dendru. I mean, I'm going to do it. I, you know, I play with an open door philosophy, so you got to really live your life saying yes to things. Um, even if they say, join us, drink the Kool-Aid. St. John's poppy flower. Let's find that first. We, we've, I think we've got that marked off already. We do. So we know which one is St. John's. So it's this one. We need to put that somewhere. Outside the Sad Guild Church before Friday. I mean, I'll do it now. Sad Guild Church. Right there. The church isn't hard to find in the small hamlet of Sad Guild. This must be the place. Plant identified. Okay. Nice. Welcome back. I have returned from Swinside. It was a fast trip. I must admit, I was hoping for more to go on. But they, there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the Stone Circle. And the poor victim. Well, the less said about him, the better. Reuben had it right, though. Grizzly. I have the beginnings of a theory, but I'd like to run some tests on a sample of the Gilded Dendra. But you actually want the Gilded Dendra. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will will turn black as the blood succumbs to Dendra's miasma. A sure and painful way to die. The poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. We've had that one like a few times, right? Where it said... The leaves hurt to touch. It's not this one. We have so many plants identified. My fingers ache from handling this plant. Yeah, pretty sure. Nice. 
Maiden Sorrow. Rep Let's see. And wood. We're in a groove now. We're going. My aunt died two weeks ago, and I inherited her house. I have been sifting through her possessions, and last night I found something unusual. In a forgotten corner of the attic, I found a coffin. That's kind of, that's a large thing to find. More unusual, it was bound by strong vines, so strong that I cannot cut through them. I immediately thought of your shop. You know about plants, right? Uh, of course, you need the Royal Gentia. <laughs> the Royal Gentia. I'm choosing to say that word. Sometimes called Everheart, the pink flowers of the Royal Gentia are made up of two large kidney-shaped petals. One of the few known ways to release the bind of Swift Snare is to apply a paste created from the sap of the Royal Gentia. That's way cool lore. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Nice. Elder Finium. Alright, let's put this one away. I'm like running out of space. Uh, we've got the will to explore, but we don't have really anywhere to go. So let's just sleep. Uh, before she left, she returned to her hiding place and carefully retrieved the book. Her excitement building as she did. She couldn't articulate what was so alluring to her about the book, but by now it had become an obsession. Day 7, Thursday. Alright, so we got 5 miles south of the tallest, but 1. It grows in peace in the midday sun. A rhyme riddle. 5 miles south of the tallest, but 1. You think these mountains are to scale? It's like the first thought I have. They don't really look it though. It grows in peace in the midday sun. Because it's raining, do you think it, it won't be growing? Oh, oh, wait, wait. They've got um, they've got numbers on them for how tall they are. So we've got 978 here. So we're looking for the second tallest. So I don't see... Oh, 902. Anything higher than 902? I don't think so. Because we, we've got Seafell Pike, but we're looking for the second highest. So. Yeah, that should be it. Um, so we go five miles south. One, two, three, four, five. And it's not sunny, so it could be here. Or it could not be here. The forest here is lush and vibrant. The bird song feels enchanting like the call of sirens. Nestled in the undergrowth under the shade of a birch tree, a plant grows. Oh, look at him. I'm going to name him myself. He's so cute. Oops. Oops. Quit shifting, guys. All right, let's go. We got plants to not sell. And wood. I was able to strip away the swift snare vines and lift the lid with more than a little trepidation, I will admit. To my relief, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the gray ash. You know, that was a really weird cliffhanger you just left me down, led me down. I, I don't know about this conversation. <laughs> On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon's scepter, I awake. Ooh, we've got that one. That's a plant, right? Oh, you bet you, you bet you yourself it is. You, you betcha. Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate and sometimes Solomon's Scorn. The flowers of this plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. Many sweet-smelling small flowers grow along the stem. The smell's alluring. Could be this one. Dark purple flowers. Probably not that one. Yeah, so first thought is definitely this one. Um, oh, okay, no. Small flowers grow along the stem. It's got to be this one. Yeah. Long Vericund. Oh wait, I did not mean to click that. Uh, 
David Schaffer. Oh, you got mail for me? I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up in the Swinside Stone Circle. Oh, is that what you heard? They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. People around here don't seem too bothered by it. But it's got them panicked down Foxfield Way. Kentmere Eye. Oh, you know where we're going. We're going to Kentmere Eye. That's a note you, you say yes to. We also could go to Swinside. I wonder if they'd let us in. Probably not, right? We'll go when we have nothing to do. We'll just check out Swinside. Um, for now, though, let's find Kentmere Eye. Okay, so here's Kentmere. What does it mean by eye? We could just go straight to Kentmere, but I feel like it's trying to tell us something. I descend into a pleasant valley where the village of Kentmere is situated. On my way, I pass the Brockstone, or Badger Rock, which has always been popular with local children who challenge each other to scramble up the craggy sides. I make a beeline to the village church, St. Cuthbert's, which is sheltered by an ancient yew tree. There are many plants to admire, among the headstones and tombs, but sadly nothing extraordinary for me to find today. Interesting. Yeah, we're missing something with that. Kentmere Eye. Well, this is getting interesting. Oh, hey, Verona. I was able to confirm that it was indeed Gilder Dendra that was used at the Swinside Ritual Site. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that has been used in several of the darker incantations. And it can't be a coincidence that that very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the Sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to think about it more, though. Some Maiden Sorrow would help a lot. You betcha. Rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's finger and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focusing effect. Flowers of this plant droop mournfully, but it is the thorns along the stem that are thought to lend its name. This one. Not even gonna look. Yeah, easy. Red Ebony. Oh, hey, that's the one we need. This plant is said to uncover that which is hidden, including buried treasure and secret writings. Red Ebony is extremely rare and not well studied. Blood has been spilled over this plant, which is where the red part of its name is believed to come from, since confusingly, the large flower is in fact blue. Not a lot of info. Again. Interesting. Okay. Oh, what's up, cat? You don't like that one. Looks like I'm gonna have a uh, going to make a trip to Black Home. Verona noticed something at the Swinside site that had me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on it in black. Can't think of anywhere else around there where you'd get a slate like that. That and Bradley Miller keep insisting that he saw something up at Black Comb. But then again, Bradley Miller does claim that Fairy stole his wheelbarrow. If I'm going to spend a night out at the hills, I want to take some Eyebright with me. Wouldn't want anyone sneaking up on me in the dark. Take care not to touch the brightly colored thorns. They will do no lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause a severe pain for several days after. A plant that only grows in the south to the south of warmer climates where it's where they call it loath after a long dead king, known to improve eyesight at night even in the darkest places. We have a couple of thorns. Um I think this is our only one that's not labeled though. Yeah. Nice. Wild coal. We're gonna need more uh, more room here soon. Let's try this again. Let's. I don't want to go to Swinside yet. I feel like there's nothing there for me. We could go up here. Circle of ancient rhyolite boulders that has been a site of ritual importance for hundreds of years. A lone pillar of red sandstone stands off to one side. Hmm. 
Forest Vair, you're a new face. Does it ever stop raining in Undermere? You have a reputation in town for knowing about unusual plants. I need some gray sandfire. Nobody around here even seems to know what I'm talking about, but I hope I'm in the right place. Your eyes are tripping me out. I like them a lot, but they're tripping me out. Looks like you don't have any white in your eyes. Um, G, F, E, G. Where am I? Go this way. Gray Sandfire. Sandfire has a tough outer bark, which has many useful properties. Some chew on it as a form of dental hygiene, taking care not to swallow, as it can cause unpleasant de stomach distress. Flame-like tendrils give off a smoky scent, adding to the impression of a roaring fire. Ooh. Is that you? Yeah. I'm so glad we finally found what this one is. I've been, like, so curious. So curious. Ember soul. Put this one up here. Okay. At first she felt free, but it wasn't long, after, long before the reality of her situation began to take its toll. She stole food when she was hungry and slept in makeshift shelters, not knowing where she was going, not caring. Eventually she made her wood to Grisdale Forest. Day 8, Friday. Alright, so we were told to put the plant there before Friday, so I'd imagine he'd be back here today. We also have this. Lowick to Ilgil Head. Foxfield to Kringle Crags. Lowick. Lowick? To... And here's Foxfield. Kringle Crags. And Lowick... To... Oh, look, Blackcomb is really close to Swinside. Sorry. Ilgil Head? Ah, right there. It's a mountain range up here. So Lowick to Ilgil Head is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Foxfield to Kringle Crags is 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is there like an X it makes or something? I wish I had like could I draw on this? Let's see. Somewhere here. The magpie sees me before I see it. I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me, and I feel an urge to leave this place. But not before collecting a plant for further study. One for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie, and another plant I've never seen before. Two for joy. Oh, they're so pretty, too. I love purple plants. Alright, let's get started with the day. Hey, Ennis. You were wise to pledge your support to the seeds of redemption. Together we are stronger. Now that the Dendru is awoken, the redemption is on us. It is a glorious time. Our deeds will be remembered for a thousand years. Those of us who have put our faith in the woken Dendru will be saved, but we must act swiftly. We will be in touch soon. Praise the Dendru. I don't know. Let's see, I'm getting bad vibes. Look at him walk away. Oh no. Same lady? Are you the one who has been missing? My mind is clouded, dark. I see it, and it sees me. All of me. Elder Finium is the answer. It must be. I will not forget those who help me. Horticulturist. Hort Horticulturist, right? Culturist? Horticulture? Horticulturist. Got it. Never forget it. Elder Finium, the petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to Dendra's miasma, a deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black, eventually resulting in a painful death. It has an intoxicating scent, similar to that of Solomon's Scepter. Uh, what? Are you... Are you gonna do something with this? You seem a little, uh... 
troubled. Has an intoxicating smell. So we'll just look for ones that smell good, even though, you know, that's kind of like all the flowers, right? It could be one we don't have yet. I know I've I've got some I've got some places to go. I think it's just here though. Kent Mir Eye. River Kent. I would mean what? To get that viewing device working. Hmm. Red Abony. I'm sure I have some of that around here. I mean, I, I guess I could... If that's what it wants me to do next. Red Abony is... Since in fact the large flower is blue. Is it this one? Oh, check it out. Oh, check it out. That's so dope. Okay. All right. So now can I see? Does it have like a time limit? I can't put it on the map, can I? Oh, I can. Kentmere? No. Oh, Elder Finium grows here. That's what she wants. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Where is that? That is 30. And what? Q. Q30. Q30. Whoever wrote on my map has been very helpful. I would never have thought to come out here in such a desolate place to search of plant life. But a quick search yields exciting results. That's the one you want. Elder Finium. Where'd it go? Oh, right there. Nice. Be careful with the- oh, she's gone. Larkshine. Okay. Still don't know what this means. Do I have- ooh, wait. Nope, nothing on that either. Anything in the book? Fine, we'll we'll check it later. Oh, it looks like it is going down. I don't know why, because we could just put another like we have non-stop red abony, right? My mom's into hort horticulture. I found this among her things. Golden light. That's a plant, right? I'm not sure what Long Meg could have meant though. Is this a, is that another plant? Anyway, I thought you should have it in case it's any help. You love this shop. Golden light. Oh, just check it for secrets. Golden light start at long meg S3 E2. S. There's no S. South 3 E2. Uh, east 2. Start at long meg. Anything else on the, uh, the great oak? Oh, cool. Tomb of the hunter? So many secrets. Uh, long Meg. Long Meg. Is there like a search function? That'd be nice. Let me try it one more time. Let's just try it. Oh. Mm. Just call in the next customer. We'll get to that in a second, I, I guess. Help me. The amulet. Oh. She's old now. I can't remove it. It's draining the life from me. Long Veracund. 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 Sometimes called the Witch's Remedy, the Long Veracund is believed to lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stem. Yeah, so do a lot of plants that I have. Is it this one? I don't think so. Those don't look like pears. This one? Those aren't pears either. I don't have it already, right? No, there's no check mark. It could be the one that I'm searching for. It could be this one. 
I'm sure I've heard of that around here. I'm sure it's one of these plants. Okay, so now we... Okay, we do have it. But... What? Wait. Some of those I already had. Like, labels on, right? Well, we know we have the plant. I'm leaning towards... I guess we can just try. Oh, okay. It was that one. Oh, thank you. Okay, I can feel it working. Sheesh. Caldery. Amos Duncan. It's good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road so long, I started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. I'm back in... I'm back in town for a few days, though, and I wanted to give you these before I forgot. I found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. I almost threw them away, but then I saw... I thought the symbols on them might mean something to you. Okay... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. I didn't really check the desk. <gasps> Whoa! I didn't really check the desk. How about that? That's sweet. Okay, anyway. I'll put this away. And then I've got this one. So then we go flower. Oh, here we go. That one, okay. Then that one. And that one. And this one. Right? Guessing there's no, like, order to these. Let's see. They do have rips in them. We can try to figure out. Yep. Yep. Right? I might be trying a little hard to make that one fit. Yeah, it's this one. Means it's this one and then this one. I think. Let's go six one and then four or five. And then four. And then the bulb. And then the three. Here we go! Oh my gosh, we got a whole plethora of notes. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, but uh, before we start digging into that drawer, I think I am going to call this episode here. Um, this is super interesting, and I'm going to leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. If you guys are liking it, if you want to see a part three to this, go ahead and let me know by hitting the like button. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other games you want to tr you want me to try. And yeah, consider subscribing if you want to uh, see more of what we do here on this channel. I'm very excited and uh, can't wait to have you guys along with the for the ride. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time.